morning everybody and welcome back to another day i'm contemplating going for my hair cut in yes it's early but i just can't do it it's just it's just too freaking heavy on top of you and just here it's, it's like if wind were to sweep me i'd be like Ugh. you know what i mean do i go for it cutting Why do I not go for it cutting? I do think it's a little bit too early. I don't know whether I should wait until like one day next week, because it will be closer. And things, I, I just don't know what to do because I, I think I've got edit because of me hair and like, I think if I waited another week, I would get another bit of growth. But I am contemplating having quite a lot cut off. Like, short here. Short here. But, like, my area. I've put a post on Instagram. What photos people like. People like number three out of the four. So I don't know what to do. Uh I haven't touched my eyebrows since yesterday, since I had them done. So when I go upstairs and get washed, brush my teeth, etc., I will wash them and see how they look. Uh, but yeah, cold wise, uh, no sore throat. Well, I have a, a slight little bit of sore throat to left side of my throat, but not like it. You not like it were other day. I'm a little bit chesty, but hopefully in a couple of days with my vitamins i will be feeling 100 percent better so i've got the washer on that's washing some towels and some darks because i just did one one wash keeping up with keeping up with washing uh i'm gonna hoover room clean kitchen floor kitchen's tidy scarlet cleaned the kitchen for me last night she stayed downstairs. Uh, Isabel's leg, we've re, we've put another pad on it, and we've put some tube grip on the leg. Hopefully, that's gonna have kept the bandage in place. Uh, she bent down yesterday, and she went, "Oh, I shouldn't have done that." So I don't know whether that's popped it or what. I don't know. But now we've got to get that healed. Hopefully, it will heal. Uh, Gonna get her in the shower, massage the bits that we can massage. Uh, I bought some scar cream, uh, and yeah, and that that's basically it. Uh, what we're gonna be doing today? Well, I'm gonna dust and tidy and get things sorted and things like that. Got to keep myself busy. It's weird because I've had a bar this morning. I've had a apple and strawberry oat bar. But I've got to keep myself busy to, to dinner time because it it's crazy how your brain just thinks, just eat some food, you'll feel better. And I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's because I feel a little bit shit that I'm feeling very, very lethargic and very, very weak. But I think next week, I think I'm gonna introduce like something for my lunch. So I have a bar or a shake for my breakfast, I have a bar or a porridge for my supper, but I have something for my dinner, something for my tea. Even if it's just like chicken and veg, and cut, you know what I mean, chicken and veg, or salad and, and omelette or whatever, but I think I need to start eating just so I, I'm ready for holiday. And then when I come back, I can be like on it, like a carb on it basically, and think on what I want to do for the best. Do I want to have like cups of tea? Do I want to like, have my dinner, have my tea. Do I want to make the 
color is because what I've seen on a few people's stories on Instagram and stuff like that, they have like, they're still having like a thousand calories with meals or something like that, I think it is, or 1200 calories. Now, when you're eating just whatever you want, you could be eating like three, 4,000 calories and knocking it down to 800 is a, is a drastic, drastic change. Now, don't get me wrong, having, having the food, having the products isn't the issue. The issue is from, from eating to the next eating, it keeping your mind busy for them hours, it, it, it's weird. And I think everybody would be in the same boat that the mind wonders, it's crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna clean up, get my hands and face washed, well, get a shower, uh, brush my teeth, and uh, then it'll be dinner time. That's what I've had for my breakfast. Uh, an apple and strawberry oat bar. Uh, and I've got my trusted water in my Stanley bottle. Right, I've just had my lunch. I've just had a peanut crispy bar. Uh, I've ripped the packet, but it were all right, it tasted a bit like a snicker. So I enjoyed it. I've still not been for my hair doing. I've washed my face. I've slightly got the color down a little bit on my eyebrows. Uh, I'm not going for my hair cutting. Scarlett and Isabel's gone out in the car. Isabel's been in the shower. Uh, the, the, the little scar thing that's popped open is it is open and I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep an eye on it and if it's no better by Sunday I think we're gonna have to or, or maybe Monday we're gonna have to uh, speak to hospital I think and see what they say because yeah it don't look like it's healing but hopefully it will so she's got a pad on it now again uh, some sticky stuff around it just a bit and then I've put the tube grip bandage on a leg and I've put some nice uh, scar lotion on it uh, I've told her that tomorrow we're gonna after I've done everything because I've got loads to do tomorrow I've got Botox day uh, dogs have got grooming uh, me and Jamie's got to go and find some swim shoes basically for beach uh, now if it's sand it's okay but if it's pebbles it's not so we'll we'll we'll, we'll see uh, what else have I to do tomorrow Botox dogs Scarlett and Isabel's gonna take the dogs me and Jamie's gonna go for my Botox then we'll finish off what we need to do tomorrow after I've had my Botox, then we'll come home, go get a bit of shopping, because I'll need some salad, some fish, uh, milk, bits and pieces we'll need. I've just been on checking machine for 30 minutes, uh, and like I said, I've just had this peanut bar. It does taste like a Snickers, so I might get a couple of them to take away with me, just for plain type of thing. Uh, well, I might get a couple just to take away with me. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, oh. So I've still got my water. I've done upstairs. I've done Scarlett's room. I've done Isabel's room. Uh, once we come back off holiday, I am going to start on Isabel's bedroom, uh, order a carpet, order her a bedding, 
a bed, paint walls, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do, uh, that's going to be, that's going to be my mission, and then I've got some bags for all the clothes to go in, we'll just put a bed on flooring Scarlett's bedroom, and she can either get in with Scarlett or she can get in on floor and think, but we've also got air bed that she could sleep downstairs with. Uh, I want to tend, I want to roughly get it done. Hopefully, fingers crossed. The week that they're off school, so she can stay downstairs and she's not got no what you call it. Well, the week they're off college, but until her legs better, she ain't going into college because yesterday when it popped open there was just blood everywhere like she like and I got my legs up on settee and she was like mum you need to come here quick and I was like I can only come as quick as I can and she went well you need to hurry up and by the time I got upstairs there were there were blood all over floor there were blood all over bath mat there were blood all over she'd wiped it up off her leg she, you know it was it was just all over anyway luckily it was it, it there's just a little bit that's just popped up and but she bent down yesterday and she was like I shouldn't have done that so I don't know whether she's bent and it's popped I don't know but the leg is soft now so maybe it was they'd done it too tight I don't know uh, but we'll wait and see so upstairs is done uh, downstairs room's done kitchen's done I'm just I've just put on Scarlett's quilt uh, I'm going to go upstairs and fetch the washing down because, yeah, there's more washing because Fifi decided she wanted to pee on Isabel Scarlett's bed. Luckily, we've got bed protector stuff on, so all that needs to be washed. But quilts being in wash, that's getting washed. So see when they get back because they've gone out in car because it's Taylor Swift day. She's fetched a new, new album out. In fact, she's fetched two new albums out, has she not? could say out, could I? And he wouldn't have a clue because he's sat with his earphones on, not knowing what I'm saying about him. I could say all sorts. His scars popped open and all. Uh, Nala's knocked scab off, so that were bleeding, so he's got a pad on that. Uh, Jamie's belly, where dog got him, is, it's healing very, very, very good. Uh, Nala's knocked the scab off when she's gone for a love off him. So that's got a pad on, but hopefully in a in a by the time we go away, I'm hoping that it's gonna be fully healed. Uh, we're on countdown, but we're not on countdown. If you know what I mean, we're on countdown to countdown. That's all you get it off me, and I'll see you all in a bit. Right, I have just had a shower and i'm just gonna put a little bit of that on my chin 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 get them dried up as quickly as humanly possible uh, i've put some of that on but i think i'm just gonna put a little bit more on because my cheeks are very, very red, very red and dry. And tomorrow is Botox Day. So I'm going to do my tablets because I have to do my tablets. Sounds like fire brigades are. Uh, I've just oiled my eyebrows. Uh, that's why my head's shiny. So yeah, I am going to finish this vlog. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in another one.